welcome to Raw Babes 101. We are your hosts, Miss KK and Titty. You know what I was thinking about today when I was in the bathroom doing my makeup? What? I was thinking about your name. I was like, well, mine's KK and your married name is K, so it would have been KK and TK. Right. But then I was like, no, because you go by Tiffany Garrigus, so it's TG. So I still think the K. Ah, thank God it's Friday because it's Friday. (laughs) So guys, Tiffany and I are in the studio tonight because Miss TT is getting the fuck out of here. She's leaving on a jet plane. Don't know when I'll be back. But we do know when she's going to be back. (laughs) I have a date. She has a date. She's coming back and you're going to have an amazing time. Yes. All of these cards and everything that we've pulled is all about mothering yourself and doing all your inner things and work and doing all your stuff so your seeds can just explode. But I'm nervous. Why are you nervous, TT? Because I'm going to be away from my family for a long time. Yes. Yes. But you are going to be with family. I am going to be with family. That you haven't seen for a long time. Yes. Look at that energetic exchange. Isn't that quaint? <laughs> Isn't it lovely? Isn't she great? <laughs> oh. No, no, no. What no, is no. it? Hey, Sarah, Sarah. Oh. Whatever. That was, you know what? My mom used to sing that song. She did? Always. Oh. Always to me. So there's this girl on TikTok. She's on Instagram. She is like... She would be your neighbor. You would never think that her voice would be as magical as it is. Like, fuck, her voice is just, oh. I stopped. Honestly. Yeah, I stopped to listen to her. And I I went to her account, Mm -hmm. and I fucking listened to all of her stuff. She's got her own little concert happening now. Let's go to it. Where's she from? Uh, Toronto. Ooh. I believe. It's It's not here. That's okay. Maybe yeah. she'll do. Maybe she's gonna tour now because she's. It's. Could a, go I think it's a small venue, but either way, it's her first concert. Do you don't know her name? We should share her. Yeah, so if you can... go on my Instagram, pull up my Instagram. Guys, we gotta share her. Her voice is so beautiful. Yes, and this is like perfect. Like why we have social media to exploit <laughs> these beautiful talents that we have. It's like honestly, she's so amazing. Okay, here we so go, just, guys. I did a reel. I just. Which one? No, uh, this one. I had her real. Her, wait. Let's hear it. Okay, wait. Here right. we go, guys. see her so okay let's go to her yeah okay everybody she has 206 k followers that's got to be new because so that song has got her where she's at now like that one that's amazing fucking viral so billy oh she gives me goosebumps i go i'm i'm on her late at night last night and i'm watching i'm on her late last <laughs> wow <laughs> i was on her instagram late last night and the things that she can do with her voice like did that that song does not even touch what she can actually do so so you guys her name is um billy ann yeah well i'll jot a little it's easy uh b-i-l-l-i-a-n-n-e-e that's her instagram name you can actually find her if you know, like you can't look at the show notes or anything at this point in time because uh, we are going to put them in the show notes because she's absolutely brilliant. But they can look at the show notes at this point in time because when they're watching But you this, may be driving. You may oh, be driving. Okay. okay. Uh, I was like, mm, true? Not true? And, and if you're like you got know, it. for a split second and you happen to be on my Instagram. <laughs> got it. It's the one that says all the feels 
that's the one I put her on mm-hmm. and it's a direct link to her account. So I think what we should do is tag her in this episode because I'm oh, sure she would absolutely a good idea. love and a fellow Canadian. Hello, a our great idea. amazing fellow Canadian. We absolutely love to promote and support people. Can we just confirm like where what are we she confirming? Is. Oh, because you don't know account. if she's from Toronto. I, I just don't want to like... Oh, Ontario. Ontario. Singer-songwriter from Ontario. I'm Billy singing again on TikTok. I love it. And you have a beautiful voice. So Absolutely. Stunning. Shout out love to it. you, girl. Ow. Keep singing those freaking vocals, activating your throat chakra. It is wide open, mama. Yeah. And she sings like... She picks like the coolest songs to... Well, maybe she can like sing a beautiful start to our podcast. Ooh. Billy, <laughs> make a song for Raw Babes 101, please. Do us well, girl. Do us well. <laughs> okay, so I wrote that down so then I can remember that for notes on the episode. Okay. Um, okay, new and update date right now. Let's just talk about this real quick. Rogers is down. Mm. Okay, guys. This kind of freaked me out this morning. Apparently, we got a notice saying that Rogers, um, is, this is our cell phone provider, is going to be going down and they, they didn't know for how long. That's kind of fucked up because what if all cell phone providers just decided to, just like a Tesla in Russia, let's just pull that shit. Let's make that totally unavailable to you because now we got you in our palm. So... I kind of freaked out today and I'm like, fuck, I'm so happy I have a landline. Mm. So we have a landline, but then we also have a company of over 200 employees Peeps. of uh, essential services, service uh, workers, and we use Rogers. How the fuck? I'm, I haven't even talked to Dave. Dave's away. Like, I don't even know what's, what's happening. Wow. But I'm assuming because they got a notice. There's got to be ways and other ways to communicate. So a lot of this, a lot of cell phones you can get like as a walkie-talkie as well. Yeah, and also Wi-Fi. When you have Wi-Fi, you can still. When you have Wi-Fi, you can. You can still call. You can yep. call through other places. But really, um, it's been quite peaceful for me not having my phone ringing ding, today. Ding, ding, ding. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just like, I'm grooving with it. Right? Yeah. I'm rolling I'm, with it. I feel kind of like, because there's so much going on for me like this weekend and I, I'm i like where's everybody yeah I'm like well how do I get a hold of everybody um there's a will there's a way exactly we'll start leaving notes <laughs> and we're gonna have to start getting the switchboard back and you know what we're going backwards in time I'm gonna start history has a way to repeat itself yeah I'm gonna start sending airplanes um what else was I gonna say oh there's a cool quote that I wanted to share um Okay, guys, so this is from a message. I was looking to my phone. I was looking over, like, old messages, and this one came up. And I was like, ooh, it's so good. It was just, like, made me sit there and think and just go, yeah, you know what? This is truth for me. I'm going to share it. So use your discernment. But anyone – I've kind of talked about this before, I'm sure. But anyone that knows, knows that they don't know nothing (laughs) we learned that a lot more there is so much to know beyond what we think we know the knowing seeking is the ego being is the soul when you just allow life to surprise you and step back and just be instead of trying to change control or fix anything you leave room for this beautiful surprise what you sent this in a text this is a text this it wasn't even me. Oh. Yeah. Okay. So when you just allow life to surprise you, you leave, you leave room for miracles. And how beautiful is that? So I was having a very awakened conversation and it was very profound. And then when they messaged me it, I was like, wow. Mm. I was like, that is so good. Because when we are being, just being, that's our soul. That's our higher self. That's our higher consciousness. Conscious. (laughs) Um, I was going to say, I was going to say like honker. And then I was going to say convoluted. And then I was like, uh, I'm just getting cut off. Anyways, be in the being, not in the seeking. Okay. 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 I just wanted to share that little quote. 
But yeah, this mm. was in a text message, and it was from the amazing Dar, and he is amazing. It was after he had his quantum healing hypnosis technique uh, session. Right. And he was basically like, everything that you think that you know, there's just so much more out there that you have no idea about. And it's so crazy because it's like who we think we are. And like you as Tiffany, but your higher self is just massive beyond all freaking time and this space. This is why I never say like, I am this kind of a person. Mm. I, I never like marry myself to an identity. I've heard lots of people do this over uh, the years. I like this or I only do it like this or like, or, or I only like things a certain way or whatever, or I'm, I'm only a certain way. Yes. But there's so many different scenarios. Would you say that you're that way in every single scenario? And I'm not saying like, that's not, I'm not saying that that's your, um, uh, what's it called? Your integrity that I'm, I'm questioning whatsoever, but like your way of being, because like, what if you liked Brussels sprouts one day and you didn't the that's, next? This is a perfect example. Like thinking that you know and sticking to that. Yeah. Or saying like, like for me, I would even contradict myself because if we, you guys go to past podcasts, even with Tiffany and I and stuff that we talk about, there was a lot of things that I would have said that I know. But now I sit back and I'm like, there's so much that we don't know and that we couldn't even grasp here on earth school i'm just like hey you know what i don't really know this feels right for me in this moment um but it could change like anything can change just like you said it's like one back in the day if i said that oh i'm never going to change and this is who i'm going to be shitty that would really suck yeah that would have been a really disser a big disservice to myself and the people around me it yeah ever evolving always um but yeah I knew some, someone that was really close to me at one point uh, said they don't like change. Right. And they avoid change altogether because it's too painful. Now, now knowing what I know, I mean, that that to me, I, I, that I fucking know exactly what that all means. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You're afraid of change because maybe you've had some bit of trauma in, the, in your past that would you know, brought you from one moment to the next and that change was probably a little bit uh, traumatizing or whatever it is, or maybe you feel that you, or you, you've created your, this story for yourself every time something changes, I'm at the shit end of the stick. Mm -hmm. Like, is that the story that you've married yourself to? Mm -hmm. I mean, everything changes. You're never gonna live one fucking moment ever the same. Ever. Ever. Like, Five minutes ago was. No I'm not different. even gonna. I'm not even gonna wink at you the same. <laughs> Tiffany, I can't. Looks different every time. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's not marry ourselves to these identities, because yeah. it can change every Always. ten years. You may as well consider yourself a completely different person. Yeah. Right. Like. Yeah. Yeah. We get and this. This will be another topic because I just don't think we should get into it right now but this is where it goes down to soulmates and partners and you know people get very confined and conditioned into a relationship or into whatever they think and I have a different perspective now on relationships and soulmates and people entering into our movie and exiting our movie so it's like be open be open to change and possibilities and surprises because when we live life in the unknown, you have way more of a possibility of having these cool miracles and surprises because if we just do the same thing over and over and over expecting different results, it's just the definition of insanity and yeah, all the things. It's not fun. But let's go back to um, the real message in that quote. Okay. And that was... Seeking is the ego, being is the soul. Um, so thinking that you know everything, right? Like yeah. when you think that you kind of, you've hit this like, when you hit, you feel like you've hit a plateau of like you fucking know everything, mm -hmm. ugh, then you really don't fucking know anything. You know, that's exactly <laughs> what he said. You can you can specialize in things and yeah. like hone down and learn lots about that thing, mm -hmm. and you can always evolve within that area. Uh, you can always be better. 
uh, in what you're doing, but to like feel like you're, if you're a master at it and you feel like you've, you've capped your cap, Mm -hmm. I I encourage you to find something else to work on. The next level. A hundred percent or the next level. Like Mm -hmm. how can you actually level up? Uh, we learned this, we went to Landmark, Kristen and I, years ago, and we did this crazy course together. It was extremely emotional. It was like fucking, like it blew my socks off. Blew your socks off. Oh, carpet rips after carpet rips after carpet rips of any identity that I thought that I was marrying and that I thought I was, I was clinging on to like a motherfucker. Right? And that really was the moment where exposed were like those things for you because you were so married to those things that to think that of any other way it could be possible was kind of hard to yeah. comprehend at the time that was I my mean, identity that, that was, was my identity, identity Tiff. but like honestly we're meant to be students for all of our life forever because there's so like you, the quote is saying there's so much more information than we can even comprehend our fucking brains can't even comprehend no. A quarter of it. What? And but this, if you put all of our brains together, <laughs> I love that. But what just prompted me is Dolores Cannon. Mm-hmm. She would think, "Oh, I've I've learned it all now." She's like, "Oh, I got it all." And then the next drop to her book, she would have a student come in, or uh, a client, and then somebody would come through saying, "Dolores, this is your next book." And she's thinking, "I've already said it all." And she's like, I still don't even know it all. And we can't even comprehend it because it, there's so much in this universe for us to grasp and all this knowledge. It's just, well, you got to think about it. Like ineffable. You're only going to retain so much information based on where your, your state of mind is at at that time and moment. Because what if, what if a scenario happened in your life where it just fucking rocks you and then you get this, in, this information, say it's the same thing. And you're not comprehending it the same as if you were enlightened or you were a little bit more balanced. Okay. So either way, like. Mm. <laughs> She's like, either way. Uh, Don't quote me on that. No, no. I'm just kidding. Do quote me. <laughs> yeah. And, and just like Tiffany was saying about the, being a student and um, being open to, to listening to people. And that's the biggest thing, uh, the biggest takeaway Even last year, when I would hear new things about spirituality or new podcasts being dropped or somebody would share their perspective, I was very much like holding on to what I knew because it was like, I just grasped onto this. Like, (laughs) don't tell me something else now. What? I just, (laughs) I just started doing this like white light around me and I don't need to do that anymore. What? (laughs) That's been my routine. So it was like carpet pull after carpet pull and what? Okay, but you were marrying yourself to these stories. That's right. right. So, so what I'm trying to say is where I'm at today is I'm not grasping or holding on to anything. I'm leaning into unattachment. I'm not attaching to people, places, or things. So if I could give one piece of advice is it would be that. Don't attach to, you know, doing the sage. Don't attach to your children or your partner. Don't attach to the coffee that you're drinking. Don't attach to anything because when those things get removed from you, you are left completely lifeless and you have no lifeline left. So when you don't attach to any of those things, you're whole and complete. Your ultimate goal is to just continue to be the spiritual being that you are. That's your ultimate. And then nothing can be taken from you. <laughs> Woo! That was, that was intense. It was because it, it was. was just channeled. It was good. Yeah. Because like, I'm like, we're all probably feeling pre- pretty helpless and, with Rogers down. Yeah. (laughs) Like I'm sure a lot of people are freaking out because like this is our lifeline. Like, yeah, that's what we're married to. Yeah. (laughs) So then people are going to get angry. They're going to be like, fuck this person. And they're going to go into, you know, maybe switch to tell us or somebody else. And it's like, no, take this as, Hey, it's no big deal. It's going to be okay. Hey, when I take away the devices from my kids, they are now mm. these totally like amazing beings. Not that they weren't before, but present. they're just a little bit more present. Yeah, they're yeah. a little more balanced. And maybe that's what everybody needs. They just yes. need a few minutes. Just uh, they they, shut they need their a time out. They need a time out. Yeah, forced to fucking be yeah. within. Yeah, forced the, to be with yourself. Yeah, the, the void is where creation <laughs> is made. The void is where we need to be. And you know, 
anything that you have going on in your life, you absolutely can handle. We are very powerful, very strong spiritual beings that can handle it. And we chose to come here to learn these lessons. So really just know you're going to be okay and try to do fine. things with joy instead of the pain and the suffering aspect of it. Know that, you know what? I'm going to fucking get through this shit. Yeah. Because you are. Whether you like it or not, you're getting through it. Okay. Okay. Dude, we're at 20 minutes. We got to oh. go. <laughs> <laughs> we got to cut it out. We got to cut, cut it. it. What is it? Cut it cut out. Cut it, it out. Cut it. Cut it out. Oh, is it cut it? No, it's cut it out. Huh? What'd you do? Cut it out. Oh. We're going to, we'll get back to you on this. Back to Back Monday on UPS. Do you remember that show? Back to Back Mondays on UPS with like, was it Topanga and... Oh. Remember that show? Yeah. Yeah. It was that. TGI, uh, thank God it's Friday. <laughs> TGIF. But then they had Back to Back Monday. Oh. And then it was like Jonathan Taylor Thomas. Yeah. And, and Topanga. What show was that? <laughs> JTT. What? <laughs> So it was, and it wasn't Tim the Tool Man. That was home his show. That's home improvement. It's home improvement. But that's not. Is that the whole yes? Thing? Okay. Because Tim the I Tool Man that. was his show. And I people always said that my dad looked like um, Tim. <laughs> kind of. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Dad. Um, and then Mr. Wilson. I always wanted to see his face. Wilson. Maybe if we started doing our podcast like that. Is he? I think that would drop. Okay, you yeah. do it like that. <laughs> Like, hey guys, welcome to Robbins. <laughs> we're just being silly. That actually drove me crazy when everybody was wearing the masks. I couldn't tell if people were smiling. Take it off. And they probably weren't. They were going like, this is my chance to be a bitch. <laughs> oh, they're like, oh my gosh. So this was the funniest thing. I was in my friend's car yesterday because we went to the amazing zoo. We'll talk about it on the actual next episode. And she did her, it was just two, two. So she, she's driving and she was talking to her car. She's got a Mercedes and she was like, um, Mercedes. And she's trying to tell it something and it was not listening. So she's just like this. And I'm like, did you just two, 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 two. I was like, did you just finger your car and your Mercedes? She's like, fucking right. <laughs> I was like, oh my gosh, this is too funny. I love it. Okay. okay. Love you guys. Bye. If you have not checked out um your our paid subscription part of the podcast i strongly suggest it because honestly there's just so, so much good juice in like the meat and potatoes like come i knew on. she was gonna say meat the, and pasta, potatoes. the pasta i don't the fucking... yeah eat the potatoes not the meats don't it's stay the, with the red meat it's the it's tomato terrible. sauce to the pasta dolores cannon talks about this yes. don't eat red meat don't eat pork it is got a whole bunch of shit in it don't do it don't do it don't but listen uh, if you haven't subscribed to the podcast, you absolutely should. It's only four ninety nine dollars for the month, and you're getting all this really, really good content. Yes. And this is great for you if you're doing a lot of personal development, because personal development is the fucking way. It is it's the, the only way. way to go. It's the only way. Yeah. And we need you guys all to be standing in your power and not fear-based, love-based. <laughs> There's positivity if you've, if you've ever yeah, seen it. Yeah, so when you go and look up in the, in the dictionary, just... I'm positive Pete. Positive Pete. <laughs> Pete and Peter. Okay. Okay, bye. Okay, love, love you. you. Bye.